afternoon and what an afternoon it is absolute blue day blue dome perfect day no wind it really is like there's no excuses today and also I've managed to actually work on my game today uh, work on my game this week so I've managed to do a little bit of put in practice and I've managed to play a couple of times in the week so there are reasons to be hopeful today and you couldn't ask for a more perfect day I mean it's just there's hardly a breath of wind 20 degrees absolutely perfect also new painter golf shoes more about those later okay so yeah let's see what today brings but I'm hopeful that we might be able to do something today so let's see how it goes right I've got a Icarus Tour number one okay yeah play well Hold your line there. Okay, so good opening tee shot. I've got one, three, five uphill and just a little bit of breeze has kicked up into our face. Pin is on the right, so the miss is left. Right, anything right is going to be short siding ourselves. So. And I've short sided myself. That's a poor shot, that is didn't strike it and I mean if it had been straight it would have actually got up onto the green but I've just got to knock it past the pin and try and give myself a putt for par wonderful And that's even worse. <sighs> that was absolutely horrible, that last one. Thank you. What's that, Six. So, starting with a double bogey. Obviously, not the start we wanted, but nothing changes. Okay. What's happened back there has no effect on what's going to happen going forwards. So, just stick to the game plan and see if we can try and get some shots back. But I need to play the next three holes well and then we'll get to the par fives where we might be able to get some shots back. So need some good golf on these next three holes. I think I've ever played off this championship tee before. <laughs> I, I haven't honestly. Yeah. It is a different hole. It's a different from hole from here, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Right, I've got 110. Slightly downwind, hit an absolutely perfect tee shot. So just looking for a nice solid shot here now. That 
it's a good shot. I just hit it a little bit too easy. Just, I think just because that last iron shot was not the greatest. I was just hitting a nice easy one. Yeah, I thought. Misread it just a little bit, but. Let me just tap this in. It yeah, it's you, Tim. So they've got us back on all the championship tees today, and on this third hole, it adds about another 70 yards. So this is a really tough hole now. Thank you. So, I've got to say, I'm feeling pretty pro today with my Xeon clothing and painter golf shoes. So these are two new brand partners and if you become a member of the Scratch at 50 channel now, you can get some offers and benefits from those brand partners. If you go into the description, you can see which brands are on board at the moment. You can get, you know, help with equipment, uh, training aids. There's all kinds on there. So the idea is that you can contribute to the channel and help me uh, create more and better content. And at the same time as supporting the channel, you can take advantage of some offers and benefits from the partner brands and these are brands that one I have to like them as people and also two they have to have products that I'm only happy to use in competition so yeah go and have a look at the members membership scheme it'd be great if you did come on board as a member because it'll really help me but there's also some benefits for you there as well 144 it's not straightforward either because it's just settled down a little bit and I've got to cut it round that tree. So this is far from, and I can't go big, so I'm going to go down a club and count on getting a flyer here. If it flies, it should get well up the green. If it doesn't, it should finish on the front somewhere. <clears throat> it's also going to help me with loft to try and help with that tree in front of me. I do need it to fly though. It's a golf shot right there, ladies and gentlemen. Very pleased with that, that's a proper golf shot. Yeah, I thought it was in. Shot, Cheers, mate. Well so, always keeping things positive. I've absolutely rifled all four drivers. I've hit so far and on these longer holes I've needed to so long may that continue if I keep hitting my driver like this for the rest of the round it's going to give me some opportunities to try and give myself some good looks at birdie so I've got 178 flag and a bit of breeze hurting so these these holes are playing long to start on these first four I'm going to go up to a five iron because it's a long way back to that flag from here.
Oh, Craig, that's wonderful. Yeah, lovely shot. Right into the heart of the green. Thanks, Mike. Uh, trying to, yeah. Didn't didn't look that way on the first. <laughs> that was an absolute missile right into the heart of the green. Yeah, I couldn't get it clear in my head there exactly what I was. Thank you. So absolutely piped another tee shot right down the middle. And uh, the course is getting in really good condition now. And if you're ever thinking of coming down for a game at Pleasanton, I always say, you know, don't, don't come before May or even mid-May. But it's in really good condition now and it's starting to firm up a little bit so we're getting a little bit of run. But this is this par five is into the wind. Normally, a tee shot like that would offer up an opportunity of maybe getting onto the green in two, but I think into the wind today, it's gonna to be just out of range, so I'm gonna have a decision to make. I'm gonna either try and get down as near to the green as possible, or just knock it down to my favorite layup distance. But uh, we'll see how far we've got when we get down to the ball. So we've got 250 to the front edge into the wind so I can't get there but I think I'm going to try and get it as near as I can <clears throat> wasn't quite what I was trying to do but it's it's gone straight. I think it's probably left me an awkward distance, so... Yes! Fifty-six. Yes, that is an awkward yardage for me. Still, process, routine, commit. Hmm. Yeah, need to practice those more. Oh dear. So I moved away from my usual tactics of just laying up on this hole. It's downwind. I've been hitting my driver so well that I thought we may as well have a crack at it because I think if I'd hit one really well dead straight, it might have got up on the green and also at worst might have got up onto the uh, into the front bunker, which wouldn't have been a bad place to be. But as it happens, I've hoiked it over onto the ninth fairway, so I should have a I should have a clear shot. I've just got no green to play with on the angle that I'm coming in. So I'll just try and make sure we get it on the green and give ourselves a putt for birdie and try and make sure we make no more than par. Right, I'm actually a little bit annoyed with myself now because I've left myself no shot here. 55 yards downwind with no green to play with.
Just knock it past the flag. That's all I could do. Just play sensible course management. Only attack when it's there to be attacked. It was in if I did take, wasn't it? No, it's all right, leave it. It was always a four after the tee shot, to be fair. How do you want it, mate, left? So we're gonna, into the winds, we're gonna need a good, a good hit to get onto the lower fairway. That should be good. No, I think it's hit well enough. It's enough. Yeah, it's long enough. Oh, you never know, mate. They get snagged in the at the top. Oh, Mr. Positive here. You never know. <laughs> it is a bit, a bit of a, a look at the bounce, isn't thing. it? Yeah. That's why a lot of people don't like this hole. Okay, we've got 200 yards with a bit of hurt in the wind. And it is sat down in a little fluffy lie. So I think my hybrid is best equipped for digging it out of there rather than a five iron. It's a long way for a five iron. So we'll just go with the nice hybrid. I'm stood slightly above it, so it should move left to right, which is a good shape. I'll be right. That's right at it. Well, it's right at it. It is right at it. I'm just hoping it's the right club. So it looks like it's gone right through the back. Yeah. Mine was right at the flag, but it's gone. I've gone through, yeah. I, I did have a bit of a flying line. It came out like a rocket. So it's on a downslope with absolutely no grass under the ball whatsoever. So putter is definitely the percentage shot here because you would have to get such a precise strike on that. It's a little bit risky this because I'm coming through quite a lot of rough bumpy ground but I mean I've got no I've got no green to play with so I mean it's such a high tariff shot that you just sometimes you just got to play the percentages thank you would never have got a chip would never have got a chip that close. That really good, that, Craig. Really well done, lad. Well done. Thank you. Right, 150 flag. Uphill. Right, that could be very good. You must dine out on two. That's a great shot. That looks very good. <laughs> Tell you what, that's an evil pin position. Isn't it, it? That, I know, I was just thinking myself, what an absolutely I'm treacherous pin position that is. Yeah, there'll be so many people who won't hit it on the back of the green today and put it off the front. Yeah. Because you don't actually have to hit that bad a putt. No. Do you want, do you want uh, take it out for me, yeah. yeah. Fipping that, there was a, like a foot and a half of break in that. Yeah. Never get sick of the scenery on this hole, do you?
get a kick down. All depends. Okay, so it was quite a good tee shot, but it pitched up in those trees up there and it usually always bounces down. So don't get me wrong, I'm pleased that it's down here with a free shot out of the trees, but it would have been nice if it made it down onto the fairway because that is just sat down a little bit. But I think I think we can have a cut at the we can have a cut at the green, I think. Two two five uphill with a little bit of wind helping. So I don't think I can get three wood out of that lie. So I think we'll hit strong hybrid. Oh my goodness, that's a golf shot, that is. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That's a, that's a big hit with that club to get it onto front edge. <laughs> Run up and mark it. So, uphill. I need to be quite aggressive with this. Got quite a bit of this woolly fringe to go through as well. It's a good line, needed a good belt up that hill. Thank you. Well done, yeah, back to level par. Right, so that's the front nine done. End of part one. So I'm really pleased, I'm really proud because obviously that first hole was just an absolute nightmare to start with a double. But you know, I'm always trying to, you know, in these video vlogs of competitions to get people to try and learn about golf psychology. And you know, there's a great example of just not letting it affect your next hole or your next set of holes you know it's gone just forget about it and just get on with it so i'm really pleased that i've played the next eight holes in two under and got back to level par so i'm hitting it good i'm swinging well so hopefully we can get off to a strong start on this bat nine and see if we can put a score together today okay i'll see you in part two <laughs>